Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm excited because I'm going to be reviewing a kit that I recently hauled from Amazon and I'm going to be doing some Builder Gel nails. I'm going to be using the Gelin Builder Gel in the tube. Here are my square full cover tips that I'll be using. I got those from Shein. Here's my mini LED lamp that I'll use to adhere the tips. That's my nail glue from Beatles. And my favorite peel off base coat from Moran that I've already applied to my nails. So first I'm gonna grab my tip and apply just a little bit of the Beatles nail glue to the inside of the nail tip. Um, you wanna apply just enough to be able to cover that tip from edge to edge. And then you'll slowly take it and apply it to your natural nail tip and slide it underneath the light. You want to flash through that for about 10-15 seconds and once everything looks good you can move on to the next tip. So I'll demonstrate this process one more time. So you'll take some of the nail glue, like I say, you want to get it from edge to edge, applying just enough to be able to cover your natural nail tip. Okay, and then after that you'll turn the light on and then apply it to your natural nail and then slide it underneath the lamp, flash cure for about 10-15 seconds. So I did file shape and buff the tips off camera and I went in with uh, this base coat so that the Builder Gel could have something to adhere to. Um, so this is the Builder Gel in the tube. I'm just mixing it around um, so that it's ready to go. I know that when I did my unboxing and tried to squeeze it out, clear came out first and so it wasn't mixed all that well. So yeah y'all, let's hop into this. I really didn't know what to expect because y'all know I'm not good at sculpting my nails my shape is typically on the lump lump side so we gonna we gonna go ahead and try it out and see what happens here so here i'm just going to squeeze some of the gel out of the tube onto the nail and crazily enough y'all i am doing this with my non-dominant hand again it seems like every time i get ready to do a new method on myself that's the hand that tends to be available so i am going to try to squeeze some out and build an apex with the gel I'm trying to use the nozzle to help guide the gel where I want it to go and I'm realizing that this gel is actually um, on the thicker side, um, definitely thicker than the gels that I'm used to working with, like the viscosity of it is really high um, and so you know this is all like trial and error. I'm just trying to figure out how to use the nozzle to mold the gel and get it onto the nail and so yeah this first nail actually did not turn out all that great it was really on the lumpity lump lump side okay y'all it did not <laughs> look too hot but um, by the time i got to the second nail i was able to figure out kind of what i did wrong um what i'm realizing is that um on this first nail in particular i just wasn't squeezing out enough of the gel so i had squeezed i had squeezed some out and then I was just using the nozzle to kind of guide what I had out. And by the second nail, I realized that I needed to continue to squeeze in order to build the nail um, with the tube. So that's what I got so far. Then I go in with my cuticle pusher to clean up any of the gel that may have gotten onto my skin. And after I clean up my sidewalls and such, I flip the nail over trying to let the gel self level because that's what I'm used to doing. And I tried that twice and realized that the gel was so thick that it didn't move at all. So then I went in with the nozzle of the tubes to try and even out uh, this layer of the builder gel because this stuff was not moving. When I say it stays where you put it, it stays where you put it so you have to really guide it and mold it to where you want it to be which is something new that I'm learning while working with builder gel at this point I'm realizing that the nozzle is not working at all so then I go in with the brush and try to you know move the gel and you know I guess float it into place um, so I'm using the brush first to try to go in and tighten the cuticle area and I'm noticing that because the gel is so thick, I'm, I'm really just causing divots and dips in the nail. And I'm like, okay, well this stuff isn't working. Um, and then I was trying to like do the method where, you know, with Builder Gel where you guys kind of float the, um, the gel over the nail. I was trying to do that, but it still, it felt like it just wasn't working. Um, you know, I was trying to do the go back left and right, left and right. And it just, it just wasn't working out for me guys. So yeah, at this point I was a little bit lost and confused about how the builder gel was supposed to work um, but you know I'm still sticking with it and seeing if I can kind of sort of get something happening right so um, I did leave this part in in real time just so you guys can kind of see what my process was um, while I was trying to learn how to do this um, I do think at some point I end up just kind of like 
letting it be how it looks and then curing it as it is i'm gonna just let you all watch me continue trying to attempting to float this into place and then i'll be right back I did feel like this was the best that I could do. So after I cleaned the cuticle and cured for two minutes, this is what the nail is looking like. It was not looking too hot. So I was trying to decide how I was gonna fix that nail. Um, I felt like it would be too thin to file down. So while I debated on how to fix it, I just moved on to the next nail. <laughs> so for the second nail, my thought process was to squeeze the product out and continue to focus the gel at the cuticle. So I just kept squeezing the gel as I tried to maneuver and float the gel out of the tube while using the nozzle. So I found that by continuously squeezing the tube while I was trying to uh, maneuver the gel really helped to have me build that apex and build up a little bit more structure on the nail to where the gel wasn't so flat. And so, yeah, again, this is my first time working with Builder Gel. I really don't know what I'm doing. And so if there's any Body out there who um, does work with Builder Gel or is really good at it, any tips, pointers, or tricks um, would be greatly appreciated. Um, let me know if you all have any like suggestions on um, different application methods or techniques that I can use to help um, improve what I'm doing because um, this right here is just far from perfect. Um, but I'm willing to like learn and and keep trying it until I'm able to get it right. So yeah, any suggestions or tips would be greatly appreciated. Feel free to leave that down in the comments below. So I do feel like this nail turned out better, but for some reason I still was trying to like let the product self level. Um, but again, because the gel has such a high viscosity, it literally stays exactly where you put it. So I am going in with the brush here to try and move the product where I want it to be and build the apex and structure of the nail. Okay, so you can see a difference from the first nail to the second nail. On the second nail, I was able to build up a little bit more of an apex. The first nail came out really flat. So I'm gonna try it again here on my ring finger. So with this third nail, I realized the key is to just continuously squeeze product um, onto the nail as you're trying to move it. So never lose contact with the nozzle of the applicator and the actual gel itself. I noticed that whenever I would lose contact with it, that's when I would have a hard time trying to maneuver it. But if you're constantly squeezing the gel out of the tube while trying to move it, so here I'm trying to move it from um, the cuticle area to get it nice and tight and then from sidewall to sidewall, um, I'm constantly squeezing while I'm doing that so that I don't lose contact with the actual nozzle, with the actual applicator itself. And I found that that allowed me to kind of float the gel a little bit more. I don't know if you all can see in this clip where I'm like literally just squeezing it. I actually lost contact at this point, but um, you just kind of, you know, gain contact again and then constantly keep squeezing. Now I'm trying to really tighten the sidewall in again, still squeezing, still squeezing. And um, once I finish getting all the gel on the tip the way that I think I want it, I noticed that on this nail, there's way too much gel at the tip. And so I end up actually trying to do like a reverse float method, I guess, where I end up floating the gel backwards onto the nail, essentially taking some of it off of the tip and getting it back onto, I guess, like the body of the nail. Um, so I'll show you all how I do that here in a moment. So because I had applied so much product to the tip, I'm actually um, taking my brush and you can see me moving the gel back to like the middle of the nail and trying to float it down. And then at some point I get it all in the middle, I'm floating down on the nail. And then at some point I end up floating backwards. And so um, I probably played around with this nail for a good like three or four minutes, just trying to, I guess, get the gel where I wanted it to be and to build up the structure. Um, yeah, I was having a really hard time with like working with it because like I said, wherever you moved it to was where it stayed. And so I kept trying to flip my hand over to let it self level and it wasn't. So anytime I felt like it wasn't looking right, I literally would just gather all the product back to the middle of the nail and try floating it, floating it down the nail. And then 
I think it was at this point where I was trying to float the product on like the sidewalls and I realized it still wasn't where I wanted it to be. And so here you see me doing it where I'm floating backwards toward the cuticle of the nail. So um, my suggestion is, is play around with it as much as you like. That's the nice thing about gel is you have as much time to play with brown with it as you want because it does not um, harden until you cure it in the light. So play around with it as much as you need to in order to get the nail to look how you want it to look. So these are how the nails turned out. So I don't think I did too bad with building the shape of the nail. Um, that first nail obviously came out really flat, but for the rest of the nails, I felt like I built them up pretty good. My pinky and my thumbnail ended up being the best nail that I did, so I think the more that I did it, the better I got at it. So I am gonna go in off camera, build up the index, and then we'll get into some filing. That's what the index nail looks like after I applied more product. Now I'm just spraying my nails with some alcohol to remove that sticky layer. You all wanna make sure that you remove the sticky layer from your gel nails, your builder gel nails to make sure that you don't clog and or damage or mess up your e-file. Um, so I went through and I actually did this twice um, to make sure I had a nice clean nails for the filing process. So I pulled out my dust collector and this time I did remember to turn it on. And I'm going in with a new drill bit. Um, I believe this is like a five in one ceramic coarse bit. Um, and I'm gonna be putting that into my new drill that I got you guys. I'll be having a review of that coming soon. I'm inserting the new um, drill bit into my e-file trying to figure out how to use it because I'm not used to the drills that like lock and unlock. I do have that small pink protector on there that helps with the dust not getting into the barrel of the actual e-file and that's supposed to help with the longevity of your file. Okay, y'all so as I was following my nails I did realize that this bit was a bit too strong for me like it was too powerful I felt like it was just shaving through the gel a little bit too fast and so I did end up switching over to my 5-in-1 carbide bit I did that off camera so you won't see that in the video here but overall you guys I just wanted to say that I am so happy that the month of June is here last month was such a crazy and busy month for me it literally felt like a whirlwind all last month I was only able to get like two to three hours of sleep due to so much I had going on I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the details but I'm just happy things are starting to slow down a bit more to where I can manage it all again so I wanted to give a big shout out to all of my nail sisters all of my subscribers and all of my supporters thank you all so much for your uplifting words of encouragement last month you all really helped pick me up dust me off when I was feeling down and out and about to throw in the towel so I just want to take a moment to say thank you to everyone for being there for me and for being supportive I truly truly appreciate you all being a part of my happy family and I love you all very dearly So if you all know me and know me well, you all know I am kind of lazy when it comes to filing and shaping my nails. I normally default to using full cover tips because they're quick and easy like Gel X method. That's my jam. Um, it's my love. And so, yeah, I wanted to focus this year on trying to push myself to sculpt my nails in more of my videos because I've gotten too comfortable, I feel like, with my full cover tips. So what I would like to do is try to take a different application method every week and have that be my way to practice. So I'll alternate each week with either poly gel, acrylic, builder gel, dip powder, etc. So last week you all saw me do the Gel X method. This week you see me doing builder gel nails. Next week I'm gonna focus on poly gel. And then the week after that, I'm hoping I can do an acrylic set. My hope is to rotate out each method weekly so that I can be balanced in all application methods. I kind of want to be a chameleon and be able to apply my nails using any method that I please. Okay, so this is what it looks like after all the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how all of the nails look with the exception of my ring finger. I do feel like the nail is pretty flat. I was going to go in and add more gel to build it up, but I kind of know what I did wrong on it, so I just let it be. Now I'm going in and wiping my nails off with alcohol 
um, just to get a nice clean surface. Once the nails are all cleansed, I am gonna go in with my base coat and apply some gold foils. This is gonna be a really simple, quick, and easy design. Um, I mainly do simple designs like this when I do sets because um, I spend so much time shaping the nails. So hats off to those who sculpt and shape their nails for every video because that work is not easy, okay? Um, so while I am applying my base coat, I did wanna tell you guys about um, a celebrity nail contest that Double Dip is hosting. Um, this is a nail contest that any and everybody can participate in, especially if you're a nail enthusiast. Um, essentially what you'll do is just create a celebrity nail design if you guys want to enter the contest and post it on TikTok and you guys will have an opportunity to win up to $10,000 y'all like that's a lot of dough okay the $10,000 prize is going to be split between 10 different winners so you'll have plenty of opportunities to win so if you all would like to participate I am going to leave the link um, for Double Dip's website in the description box so that you all can get more details about when the contest is how the winners will be chosen and what the prizes are etc like y'all they giving away MacBook Pros MacBook Air iPhones nail drills etc so definitely check the link out in the description and y'all they actually featured me on their website I feel so grateful and blessed what an absolute honor I'm kind of on the speechless side with this and I wanted to share it with you all they chose me as one of the ambassadors for this contest and y'all they actually featured me on their website holy smokes like what and so I wanted to insert a clip from their website of me uh, talking about the contest so I'm gonna do that now new nail challenge for a chance to win our awesome prizes. Hello happy people, it's Rosa from Rose 318 and I'm super excited because I'm going to be participating in the Double Dip Nail Contest where we're going to be creating um, some celebrity inspired nails using this mini luxury gel tip kit and I'm super excited to see the designs and creations that you all come up with as well as sharing my celebrity inspired Manny with you all and you know she gonna be cute though. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing your creations and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye! Just recreate your favorite celebrity Manny to be entered for a grand prize worth up to $10,000. Anyone who loves doing nails can join in on the fun. So yeah, y'all, I just feel so blessed and so honored that they chose little old me to be featured on their website and talk about this uh, awesome contest. So yeah, a special thanks to Double Dip for that. And um, also a special thanks to each and every last one of you all. My big happy family, all of my subscribers, all of my nail sisters, um, this entire nail community. I just want to thank you all for all of the support, all of the love. Without you all supporting me, none of this would be possible at all. And so from the bottom of my heart, Thank you, thank you, thank you, y'all. 2022 is gonna be a great year and I'm excited to see what else is in store. So yeah, y'all, let's get back into this, uh, Manny, before I get a little choked up here. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me just take a moment. All right, y'all, I am back. Tears of joy are a beautiful thing, okay? So let me hop into what I am doing here. Um, I already applied base coat to my nails. Uh, when I applied the base coat, I flash cured it for 10 seconds. And after I flash cured it for the 10 seconds, I went in with this little cuticle stick and put just a uh, just a dab of the base coat on the nails and I used that to pick up the foils. Um, after I did that, I kind of just applied the foils in a vertical um, line as you all saw me do here um, on the last two nails and now I'm just pressing um, the foils into the nails I'm actually kind of rolling the foil into the nail to get it to lay flat uh, and when you do this you want to make sure um, that there's no foil on your hands so that it doesn't transfer to parts of the nail that you didn't want foil on and so I'm kind of like just um, rolling each finger um, with the um, same finger on the opposite hand so for my pinky finger I'm rolling the foil with my pinky on the other hand and vice versa so yeah and then once I have it laying all nice and flat how I want it to look then I go ahead and cure it for a full two minutes and after I cure that I go ahead and apply my top coat I am using this gel and top coat I really like this top coat a lot I also have this gel and top coat that's in like the black bottle but I don't feel like it's as good it's, it kind of has like a sticky layer even though it says it's a no wipe top coat so I'm not really sure 
why that is but I really enjoy this top coat um, that came in the nail extension kit and it is a nice glossy shiny top coat so um, as you're applying the top coat over foils you want to have like a lint free wipe handy so that you can wipe away any foil flakes that might um, get stuck in the brush for the top coat and you'll want to make sure you're constantly double checking it so that the foil does not contaminate the actual uh, top coat itself so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to all the nails apply some cuticle oil and we're gonna get into the finished look okay Okay, y'all, she is turning out real good. Y'all, let me go ahead and just throw some cuticle all on these cuticles so we can so we can get into the set though. Ooh. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, y'all. I am loving how this Manny turned out. I said she dainty, she pretty, she cute, and she giving, yes! <laughs> I really love how this set turned out. It is super duper cute, you guys. And so yeah, I had a lot of fun working with Builder Gel for the first time. I am loving how the shaping of the nails turned out. I feel like I said the only, so the only nail that I'm like, you know, I wish I could have did a better job on was the ring finger, but honestly, the rest of them turned out good. So I know what I needed to do to fix it. And y'all even see the thumbnail turned out pretty good as well. So yeah, y'all, I am absolutely loving how this set turned out. Let me know what you think. Um, how did I do for my first time using Builder Gel? So yeah, y'all, this set was a little bit of a struggle to do. It did take me about four to five hours to get done. Um, actually, this Builder Gel was a lot thicker of a consistency than what I was used to working with. And I do believe that's typically Builder Gels in general. Um, they are of a thicker viscosity or higher viscosity, but um, I also know that that viscosity can range too. So it all depends on what your preference is. This one was definitely a lot thicker than what I was used to working with, um, but I still managed and I think I was able to kind of get used to it actually, especially by the thumbnail. Cause when, by the time I got to my thumbnail, I was able to get the shaping and everything on one try. So, you know, practice makes progress you guys. So even if you have a product that's new that you might not be used to working with as far as consistency and things are concerned, just give it a try, keep at it. And eventually, you know, you'll get it so um yeah so that's kind of my thoughts on this builder gel in a tube i did actually like working with it i really like the fact that it had this nozzle which makes life a lot easier when it comes to the application um as you all saw during the tutorial though i did still have to go in with my um with my brush here um, I've already cleaned it and put it away but I did have to go in with my brush here um, to kind of help mold and guide the builder gel to where I wanted it to be but yeah that's kind of my thoughts on this product I know that when I posted my Amazon haul for this they were not available anymore but I have since actually found an alternative to some builder gels in a tube so I will leave those linked down in the description box also um, young nails has some synergy gels that are in a tube which is essentially builder gel in a tube theirs are slightly on the pricier side so um, I mean if you all have the funds to get it get it but I'm always looking for affordable alternatives and this is definitely one and the one that I'll have linked in the description is one so yeah y'all I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial let me know what y'all think about my new boo okay I'm gonna have this set on for uh, at least a week you guys I did do my peel off method so um, I'll see how long it lasts but typically when I do um, that alternative peel off method um, my sets last for a good week, week and a half with easy removal. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the, the video. I do also have a tutorial on this set over here. I did a beautiful, nice French tip matte butterfly design using some products from Nail Addict. So if you all are interested in checking that video out, I will leave that link down in the description as well. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular on my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye